I'm going to demonstrate the relationship between the torque and the change in the angular momentum of an object. This wheel, when it's spinning this way, is said to have angular velocity and angular momentum that way that can be determined by the right hand rule. You curl your fingers in the direction of the rotation and your thumb gives the direction of the angular velocity. And you might say, well, is it clockwise or counterclockwise? When I say, well, if you look at it like this, it's a little hard for you to say if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. You have to be on this side, in which case it's counterclockwise. On this side, if you look at it that way, it's clockwise. So instead of worrying about that, um, the, the, the actual perspective of the observer, physicists use uh, a single direction to denote the angular velocity and the angular momentum, and it's this way. So um, what I want to do is to, is to allow a torque to be present in the system. So I'm going to get this guy spinning in the same way that we did before, and then I'm just going to dangle it from this rope. And what happens then is that gravity pulls it down, the spring pulls it up. Either way you think about it, if gravity pulling it down or the spring pulling it up, it's trying to twist the wheel this way. And so that's a torque that we, that, that's in the direction of my thumb. And the torque, net torque on an object, is the rate of change of its angular momentum. That says that if the torque is in this way, direction and the angular momentum is that direction, then this torque is going to try and, and take this angular momentum vector in the direction of the torque. So what we'll expect to do, see when we dangle this by the string is that the wheel will start to uh, move in, this, in the direction of the torque, the angular momentum. And sure enough, there it is. Lots of right angles with uh, angular motion and, and wheels. And these kinds of principles are important in, in gyroscopes. There are gyroscope experiments right now that are you being used to test um, Einstein's general theory of relativity. Uh, they're used in the spacecraft industry to, to indicate positioning in, in space. And um, so that's torque and angular momentum.